Okay, so this is Rough Draft Created, and this is where you're going to take your expertise. This is the human element that you're going to add to this project, and it's going to be contributing in what is your um, your unique contribution, basically, to this content piece. What is the value that you're bringing to the table uh, that makes your brand distinguished from other pieces of content? And so here you want to show up with a high degree of value and relatability, and um, you want to be on point with what you're bringing to the table. Now, if you're a good writer, if you write content, you could skip all of these steps altogether. This is mostly to, this is a broken down step by step, um, how to go about creating um, a rough draft from, from your outline. If, if you needed a very step-by-step-by-step -step -step process. If you don't need a step-by-step -step process and you want to just free, you, you know, you feel comfortable just opening up the laptop and just busting out a piece of content on, on that subject, you could literally skip this entirely. But for those who want kind of an overview of, of how I see content being broken down, um, this this might be helpful. Okay, so... First thing here is using search intent words um, to write a rough intro, the, the couple sentences. So this is a couple minutes. So you want to speak to their needs. So they've searched something, they've searched a keyword in Google, they're looking for something. You want to prove that you are that something that they're looking for within the first one or two or three sentences. So right here I've got first sentences, you want to show your target that your content is what they're looking for. You um, you want to say why they should consume your content. So what's in it for them, right? Um, this this makes a difference because of X Y Z. This is why it makes a difference for you and why you want this. Part of your search intent is to identify the reason your target is using the keyword to search, and then you communicate that to your content met, that hey, I am what you're looking for, and um, you might want to describe the target's problem and the solution that they're looking for. And sometimes it could be a definition of a term if they're just typing something like, you know, um, starting a business, like what does that entail? Or if they're, if they're typing in a medical term or whatever, right? You, you, they're like, what is mindset anyways? And maybe you need to have a, a definition. So, Anyways, you could read through this on your own um, once you figured out what thought your target, so you've got a keyword, you want to figure out what the feeling is that your target has, maybe that, that encompasses more of like the problem that they have, right? And you want to, and so we have the keyword, so we have their thought. And now we got to think, well, what is the possible feeling that they have? So if someone's starting a business, maybe they feel overwhelmed. Maybe they feel intimidated. Maybe uh, they feel anxious, right? So you identify a little bit of that initial state that they're in, and then you want to provide a solution. So maybe they want confidence. Maybe they're looking for confidence. And so you can give them reasons to move forward and a step-by-step -step guide so that you can walk with certainty towards building your empire, your business as a is a strong um, success anyway so that's the solution so if their if their feeling is anxiety you want to provide them with a solution of the feeling that they actually want they want certainty or they want um, reassurance or they want confidence or they want hope even maybe they're stuck in a day job and they 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 want freedom whatever it is you capture the feeling, and that's what you want to relay as your solution within the first sentence or two. Um, so, yeah, so simplify even more the purpose of your content into A leads to B. This is uh, this is pretty straightforward, right? They they are at A and they want B. A is the thoughts and feelings and that state that they're currently at, their problem that your target currently has that they're looking to solve. And B is what you have to offer that's the solution to that problem. It's the state, it's the feeling of the result that they're looking for. You want to mention that really early on. Okay, so 
here we go. Let's, let's just look at this real quick. So the keyword intent here, so if we have starting a business is the keyword. So we gotta think, okay, is this transactional? Is this informational? Is this, well, it, it seems like it's probably more informational. Somebody who's looking for uh, what goes into starting a business, right? Maybe they wanna escape the day job. Maybe they want freedom. Maybe they just want to assess the risks and benefits. Or they've already kind of made a decision and now they're like, okay, how do I, you know, what, what's the legalities? How do I actually start a business? So we want to put ourselves in the mindset of, of that target who searches starting a business. And once we understand a little bit of that intent, then we, we take that and we craft some of the first sentences, right? So if we were to start here, so we would, um, and I, I really like to use my dictation software, um, I'll, and I'll show you that here. So let's, let's use this dictation software again. Here we go, let's see if this works. So, so um, here we go. All right, so we know the intent here. I've got that right up there, okay. So, For those dot 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 new line starting a business can be as scary as jumping off into the deep end for a kid learning to swim, period. It, it doesn't have to be that scary though, because there are those who have built businesses. There are those of us who have built businesses and who love building businesses, just like building sand castles at the ocean and love to see how big and strong we can get them. And then we love to show other people how we did it so that they can build a successful business too, period. If you're looking to escape the day job or just looking for a freedom of building a side business and you wanna know what risks there are and what benefits, this and exactly a step-by-step -step process of how to go about building a business successfully this article is for you, period. New line, new line. Okay, so that may or may not be the very best intro, but this is again, this is a very rough, this is a rough, um, rough draft. And we can revisit that, but you'll notice what I did is I validated maybe some of their initial state, the feeling state, the thoughts maybe. And then I, I gave a, um, a wanted state feeling in terms of the solution that somebody is looking for. Now, I, I personally love building businesses and helping people be very successful. And so this is very authentic to, to me. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and um, copy that. And for now, I'll just paste that in. Okay, so that's just a little bit of an intro. Whoa, I don't know why. So let's fix a little bit of that. Okay. There we go. Starting a business can be scary. Jumping off the deep end doesn't. So 
mm, that that may or may not be the best way to start, but you get the idea. Somebody has a beginning state, they want an end state. And we could fix that up later. Um, and then, so that is the keyword intent. And so that way, if they go there, they see, okay, this is ex this this person understands me or this this article is really speaking to me. Um, but in the so the heading was this this um, this headline is actually going to be really um, helpful. If I can nail the headline, then it really leads people into reading the article. And then also, um, it's really helpful to break it up instead of instead of just you know big chunks. It's actually real helpful to break it up like this. It doesn't have to be that scary, right? All right here. It can be fun. You know, whatever, right? So starting a business can be scary, as scary as jumping, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't have to be that scary, though. It can be fun. There are those um, of us who have built businesses. There we go. There are those of us who have built businesses, love building businesses, just like building sandcastles at the ocean. Um, okay, so that's, you know, who knows? Maybe that may or may not be the very best intro, but that's an intro, and that's where we're starting, and we're not going to spend very much time on it. We just want to capture an A state where they are with a problem and a B state, what solution, the feeling that we can give, and that feeling we want to capture to resonate kind of throughout the whole article. So... Hopefully that helps just to get um, a, a kind of a launching place for an article. If your business is already at 2.5 million or more, we invite you to check out our 10X Accelerated program at 10xflowseo.com, where we can work together to help you reach 50 million or over 100 million per year. If you're not yet at the 2.5 million per year, then feel free to like and subscribe to help keep applying all this video knowledge, our entire playbooks, designed to help you get to 2.5 million per year for free.